Hi, welcome to Hawkesbury Regional Gallery Art Online. This week we're doing a little bee activity just in time for bee day. So if you happen to like bees and you'd love to do a little artwork, this is what we're going to do. You can see we've got four slightly different bee shapes. We've got a printout of our flower and under here we have a plain blue background. We're going to need some watercolours and some tape and a pair of scissors, which I've got here ready to go. So step one is you're going to mix up some yellow paint and you're going to be painting in all your bees, not the wings. You're going to be painting the center of your flower. And then after that, I want you to choose a different color for painting in your flower. You can see one I've already prepared here. I decide to go for a nice pink. Now you can see I haven't worried about being too neat around the edges. That's because we're going to cut our flower out so you don't have to be too tidy. You can also see I've painted my stem green. So if you have some green paint, you could paint your stem as well. Now if you don't happen to have paint at home, you can use texter or pencil. It's totally fine. I'll show you the next step. Okay, so you can see all my bees are painted. And what I'm doing now is just cutting around all my little bee shapes really neatly. Okay, a little bit tricky, so if you've got small hands you might want to ask an adult or somebody else to give you some help. Then we go around the wings, all the way around, around his little eyes there, there's one. Okay, so then do all the others and then I want you to start to cut out your flower after you do that. If it's easier, you can try cutting around a bit closer first and then just cutting into all the little bits and pieces. Makes it a little bit easier to not have that big sheet of card in the way. So cutting up around it like so and then you can cut into these sections. Much, much easier. Okay. Okay, ready for our next step. You can see I've cut out all my little bees, I've cut around my flower, and I've cut around my background there. So what we're going to do now is stick it all together. So let's put some glue onto the back of our flower first. Open the glue, squeeze, 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 mainly in the middle and a little bit on the stem. And then you can stick that wherever you like on your sheet there. Like so. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to stick the bees together in layers and that's actually called paper toll. So the first layer is the one with our legs. So we can put a little bit of a dollop on our flower and stick our little leg one down. You could put it at a different angle if you like or straight up and down. It's completely up to you. Next step is the wings. Now I want you to just give the wings a little bit of a bend so they sit up a little bit like so. Another layer. This time it's going to be the bigger body. See there's two different sizes. That's going to go on top. Make sure they all stay lined up where the glue dries. And then the next one is going to go just on the back part of the body. There we go. You might need to sort of hold it in place for a minute while it dries. I might use my scissors just to sit that down just a little bit flatter for a moment. But you can see how all the different layers of paper gives that little bee a bit of a 3D look. If you wanted, you could also add some extra petals if you want to paint some more and stick them coming out on top to give it an even more 3D effect. Okay, so that's how you do paper toll. Hope you enjoy your little bee artwork today and I'll see you next week.